Slow boot times on Windows 11 can be frustrating, but there are several strategies you can employ to speed up the process. If your PC takes forever to boot or very slow on rebooting, here are some effective solutions to fix slow boot times in Windows 11. Unnecessary startup programs can significantly slow down your boot time by consuming system resources right from the start. Disabling these programs helps free up resources and reduce the time it takes for your system to become usable. To disable startup programs, open Task Manager then click on the Startup tab. Right-click and disable any programs you don't need to start automatically with Windows. Also you can disable startup programs from settings navigate to apps then startup. Here toggle off any programs you don't need to start automatically with Windows. While fast startup is designed to speed up boot times by combining elements of shutdown and hibernation, it can sometimes cause issues with certain hardware configurations and lead to slower boots. Disabling fast startup can resolve these conflicts and improve boot times. Open control panel and go to hardware and sound. Click on power options and then choose what the power buttons do. Click on change settings that are currently unavailable. And finally uncheck the turn on fast startup box, click on save changes. Well if you already have fast startup disabled, try enabling it and see if that helps your PC boot quicker. Outdated or incompatible drivers and system updates can cause various performance issues, including slow boot times. Keeping your system and drivers up to date ensures that you have the latest improvements and bug fixes. Open settings and go to Windows Update. Click on check for updates and install any available updates. In addition go to Advanced Options then Optional Updates. Here check if any driver updates available, check mark next to it and allow download and install on your computer. Once done, you need to reboot your PC to apply changes. Also you can update device drivers using Device Manager. Press Windows key plus X and select Device Manager. Expand Display Adapters, right-click on the Display Driver, and select Update Driver. Tap on Search Automatically for Drivers to download updated driver from Microsoft Server. If you already have latest driver package slash or looking for install the default driver, tap on Browse My Computer for Driver and locate the driver package. Or click on Let Me Pick from list of available driver on my computer to install the default driver. Same way you can update or reinstall other drivers on your PC as well. Virtual memory acts as an extension of your RAM, and improper settings can impact system performance. Adjusting virtual memory settings ensures your system has enough space to handle running applications efficiently. Open System Properties window, go to the Advanced tab and click on Settings under the Performance section. Go to the Advanced tab in the Performance Options window and click on Change under Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for all drives, select the system drive, and set the initial size and maximum size to the recommended values that appear for your system. Once done, reboot your PC and your boot time should improve. Windows 11's visual effects can be demanding on your system's resources. Disabling or reducing these effects can help improve boot times by reducing the load on your CPU and memory. Open settings and go to accessibility. Click on visual effects then toggle off transparency effects and animation effects. Also you can open System Properties then click Settings under Performance section. Here select Adjust for Best Performance or manually disable specific visual effects. Sometimes corrupt or missing system files are the reason why Windows PC takes forever to boot. Running System File Checker SFC, and Deployment Imaging Service and Management Tool DISM, scans can help identify and fix corrupted system files that may be causing slow boot times. 
Open command prompt as an administrator and run sfc slash scan now command. This will scan your computer for corrupt files and try to replace them with correct one. The scanning may take some time depending on corruption level. Let it complete 100%. If SFC scan found corrupt files but unable to repair them you need to run DISM restore health command. This will repairs the Windows image itself, which is useful if SFC cannot resolve all issues. It provides a more comprehensive repair of system files. Well, if you have an old computer or laptop that is running on a hard disk, try switching to SSD. Upgrading to an SSD can drastically reduce boot times and improve overall system performance. Did these tips help fix slow boot times in Windows 11? Share your feedback on comments below. Thanks for watching.